You know, the cool thing about coming down and headlining Soundwave is that there's so many great bands, you know? It's, it's one thing to come down and kind of tour on your own and, and do your own shows and have a package that you kind of put together. But then to come down here for a festival like this, you don't know who the hell you're gonna run into, which is awesome, you know? There's so many great bands um, and so many great bands that represent so many different sides of the genre, you know? I mean, we've got everyone from us to Judas Priest, to Kill or Be Killed, uh, you know, Marilyn Manson. I mean, it's just a, it's just a fantastic, uh, you know, fantastic festival. My fondest memory of the, the, the last sound wave was just being aware that there was like 90 bands playing and uh, bands from all different kind of genres. And that's just a very cool thing to be part of, to be able to catch this and this and this and all this different stuff in one day instead of a typical kind of uh, festival where metal and hard rock's kind of together forever and you kind of miss the alternative stuff. I mean, Smashing Pumpkins are playing tonight, you know? That's cool, you know what I mean? Usually that might be on a different day. And uh, I love stuff like that, to be able to keep, keep your mind going with art instead of just the everyday business crap that we get uh, clumped into in this career of ours. Ever since we came down here the first time in 2000, I mean, the fans here in Australia have been so good to us, you know? I mean, they're mental, they're passionate, they, they love music, they love metal music, they love Slipknot music. I mean, every time we've played here, every show, it's just been better and better and better. And, uh, you know, that's going on 16 years, which is insane, you know? But, uh, you know, we're, we're really lucky to be able to, to you know, to kind of hit all the corners of the planet and Australia is definitely one of those places where we always try to get back down here. Something is tempting the father. Where is Being a headliner, a lot of bands might take that for granted, you know, and uh, uh, especially a band like in our, our situation. Um, but we never take it for granted, you know? I mean, there, there have been times where it felt like we were at the top of our game and we've come down and we've been like, you know, direct support, you know? It, you kind of have to keep earning it, you know? So when you get that spot, you never take it for granted. You go for it with everything you've got and you try to make sure that you show that audience why you're headlining and why you're there and why it's, it's so special to us, you know? And uh, it's, it's just, you know, it's a gift, you know? The second you stop thinking of this as a gift, that's when they take it away. Yeah, you know, I'll be honest with you, man. I, I don't really like the label headliner, this or that, only for the simple fact that I've never asked how many people are here. I don't usually like to know even where I'm at because I like to walk on stage and realize this is what I'm dealing with. Whether it's two people or 50,000 people, whether it's Rock and Rio or you know, Bogota, whatever. It's just, it's, it's our dream is to be on stage, but you know, in, in all fairness, it's always a, an honor to, to be asked to, uh, you know, wrap things up, you know, so to speak. And uh, we wrap things up pretty good. I am, uh, you know, I'd love to say I'm gonna get a tan. I don't tan, I'm very Irish. Um, so on the days off between, uh, between Soundwave gigs, I probably just do a lot of uh, just whatever, you know? I mean, the cool thing about Australia is there's so much stuff to do, you know? We just spent two days, you know, we went to the aquarium, we went to uh, uh, one of the, like a zoo slash kind of sanctuary just outside of Melbourne. I fed a giraffe, which is so metal. Um, you know, it's, you know, after this many years being able to do it, you just try to find the cool stuff, you know, to, to embrace and, you know, I've got my family with me, so we kind of all went and did it. So that's what I'm going to do is just a bunch of really good family time. Because at my age, what else is there? You try to go shark fishing. First time. First time. It's kind of one of those things growing up as a kid, uh, really wanting to do. And this is like the first time I might actually have a chance to let rock and roll give me a, 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 a proper little vacation 
to do something I want to do besides being a, a geeked out tourist. You know, seeing Big Ben or, you know, blah, blah, this or blah, blah. I mean, this is proper something I want to do because of the continent I'm in. It's like I want to go out and I want to catch some big fucking fish.